If you had one thing you could let go of today that would make you feel better tomorrow, what would it be? I know that there's tons of us that have a list of things that would make us feel better, but we can choose one thing at a time and make small changes to make the huge ones in the future. So everything accumulates over time, but we can always do something in the moment to make us feel better, right? So we can change our thoughts, the direction of our thoughts. So when you guide your thoughts into a better feeling place, then you can only manifest and attract the things that are good, right? That feel good to you. But if you have any resistance or bounce on that, and you feel like, oh God, you know, this, this guy is driving me crazy, or I hate going to work, or I, there's just so many things that are bothering me right now about politics. Like you get absorbed and involved in that, then it's gonna completely throw off your vibe. So when you have a higher vibe, then you're on this level where you're attracting these higher, better thing, higher energy things. And the things that you want get manifested up here. But if you have this drop in vibration and you're feeling like all this storm is coming at you and these negative people are being drawn to you and these circumstances aren't working out for you, you know, when you stay down there, you stay in that fear and you stay in that anger and you're just frustrated all the time, then guess what? You're going to get what you think about. You're going to attract that, more of that, and then you're going to just stay there. So this is why I ask you that one simple question, because when you start thinking more simple and breaking things down day by day, you can start making things better for yourself. But you have to choose to do it. You have to practice it. And for some, it feels like work. Yeah, I mean, if you're not used to doing it, it's going to be a challenge at first. But guess what? It gets easier the more you do it. And then the more you do it, the more rewards you're going to see. And you're going to become appreciative, appreciative of this kind of work. Because you'll see the value in it, how powerful it is in bringing you what you want, but also helping you stay motivated towards what you want too. So. You know, there's a big piece of this, it's a, in uh, visualization. And so I'll be talking about that in my future videos because it's really been a huge piece of my life and where I've, where I've gotten to and what I've been through. So using everything that I know back then, I'm pushing that out now because the things that I always wanted are here because I realized I had to shift my mindset. It wasn't always about being on a stage and showing off my muscular physique or showing pictures of myself daily about being in great shape to other people because that doesn't show others like exactly what it takes to get there. It shows, oh, you have discipline and wow, you can diet and you can train really hard and you must be really strong. It shows all those things but it doesn't essentially show you, show anyone what you're truly capable of and how you got there. And really it is about having a solidified mindset and you start it from every single detail of your thoughts and vibes and feelings that you have throughout the day, starting them good, executing the ones that are not working out for you, that doesn't feel good in the moment, and turning it into something extremely powerful by staying on that high vibration level. Think of, I think about a feather, a little feather, a light feather, and then you have to keep it up in the air. So you have to keep blowing it up in order for it to stop dropping down and fall into the ground. So yeah, it works for me. <laughs> you can use it if you want, loaning it to you. But anyway, those are my thoughts for the day, and I hope you received something, something good from it. And uh, yeah, have a great one, and keep your vibes high.